With every stroke, S.H. Raza's art beckons, inviting us to witness his journey full of spiritual ardor and unyielding devotion. I couldn't agree more with Krishan Khanna, one of Raza's dearest friends, who said, Raza's achievements, the acme of devotion and persistence, are a matter of pride for all of us. He ushered Indian art into a new epoch of abstraction and symbolism, carving his own niche through his pictorial inventions infused with the poetry of form and colour. While his artistic fervour is undeniable, it was also the visionary artist's deep and abiding faith that guided him. Ashok Vajpayee, a poet and critic, fondly remembers Raza as a believer to the core. He often says that without divine powers coming to your help, you cannot create. He bows down his head before the canvas, before starting to paint, and he bows again after he has finished the day's work of painting. Germinating from such spiritual and aesthetic guidance, Raza's canvases permeate a vision that strove towards a true artistic expression rooted in self-search. Raza's career took a transformative turn when he set sail for France in 1950 to study at École Nationale des Beaux-Arts in Paris. The 1960s and 70s saw Raza's artistic metamorphosis. As he navigated further into the labyrinth of shapes and colours with his preferred medium of acrylic, the formal structure of his early works receded. He painted relentlessly with the harmony of heart and mind. What began to distinguish his canvases was the choice of colours that moved towards an Indian sensibility. The emotive powers of forms and colours discussed in Rasa theory significantly impacted the artist's work, which we can see here in the earthy hues that strongly evoke his homeland, Madhya Pradesh. Reflecting on Raza's canvases of his time, Ranjit Hoskote writes, In those paintings, he mediated on an enigmatic burning darkness, a glow of black and red, equal parts earth and fire, intimate as miniatures, yet magnificent as panoramas. These works were evidently inspired by childhood memories of the forests of Madhya Pradesh. Raza, in an attempt to define the essence of nature, found an answer in what he referred to as the significant form. His mature works were the culmination of this artistic journey. It is particularly exemplified in Raza's masterpiece, Earth, painted in 1986. This remarkable canvas showcases a unique composition, uniting two fundamental forms on an expansive scale. The bindu, symbolizing boundless potential, takes center stage, cradled with an intricate tapestry of intersecting lines and triangles, creating an awe-inspiring impact. He delved deep into the vast potential of geometric forms, ultimately culminating in the bindu, which became the centerpiece of his creations, such as the present lot. First introduced into his paintings in the 1950s as a black sun looming in the background of a landscape, the Bindu emerged from the artist's preoccupation with formal order and geometry. Earth is anchored by the Bindu at the center, which in Indian metaphysics denotes shunya or a void representing immense energy and concentrated life force. The focused stillness of the Bindu is disrupted by intersecting lines, crafting a charged space layered with diverse influences, notably Indian philosophy, creating a profound tapestry of meanings. As we explore the particular symbolism in this work, scholar Yashodhara Dalmeya explains, the triangles denote a primary enclosure since space cannot be bounded by fewer than three lines. Hence, it is a root matrix of nature, where in its inverted form, it is feminine power, while the triangle with its apex upwards denotes the male principle. His visual references also include the structure of yantras, used for their evocative values according to tantric belief systems. We can now see how the nuanced evolution of Raza's language led up to the artist's mastery in the ability to evoke emotions and states of being through an intricate interplay of shapes and colors. Raza's works, including this painting, are brilliant expressions of the artist's elemental spirituality and unwavering connection to nature and his homeland. As we gaze upon Raza's creations, we are reminded that he wasn't just an artist, he was a believer, a seeker, and a conduit for divine inspiration. His legacy continues to inspire artists and art lovers alike. A timeless reminder of the power of faith, expression, and the everlasting connection between an artist and their work. Take a closer look at this painting, among other important works, 
in the catalogue for our upcoming flagship evening sale taking place on 16th September in New Delhi.